Welcome to MyMaths Secondary Students Training. You can use the MyMaths website to keep your maths learning going, even if you need to study at home. Here are a few tips to help you out. We'll start by looking at logging into MyMaths, then completing preset work, including troubleshooting if you get stuck or run out of time. Practice options when no work has been set to you yet, and some further support. You can access our support site by visiting support.mymaths.co.uk and clicking on student support. If you use Twitter, you can follow at mymathsuk. Your teacher will have given you a school username and password and an individual username and password. Go to www.mymaths.co.uk and click the login button. This is where you enter the school username and password. On the next screen, enter your portal username and password. Now you're in your own secure area. And here you can see any work that you need to do and keep track of your results. My homework shows you any work your teacher has set for you. Keep an eye on this area in case they set more work. To complete the work your teacher has set, click on the un online homework button. The homework will open in a new tab. Work through the questions and click mark it when you're ready. Your answers will be locked in when you press mark it so make sure that you've checked them before marking them. You'll be able to see which questions you got right and what the correct answer was for anything you've got wrong. The homework has two pages. Use the menu on the left to move between pages. Once you've completed the second page, click mark it again and your homework is complete. You can see the results on the summary screen. Here, you can also see your best result per page if you've done this task more than once. When you close the tab and go back to your portal, you will still see these results by looking in My Results. Your teacher can also be, see these results. There are also some options if you get stuck. If you have any problems with the homework, you can click on the Lesson button to go through an interactive lesson of the same topic. Start on page one and use the next button to move through the explanations. You can move through the other pages of the lesson using the buttons on either side. There will be practice questions at key points in the lesson which you can try to check your understanding before you go back to the homework. There may also be some extra activities for you to try. Once you're happy with the lesson, you can close the tab. If you want to improve your mark for a homework you've already completed, you can open the task again from My Results and try again with a new set of questions. Your best mark will be saved for each page. Now let's take a look at what you can do if there's no work set. You can still use MyMaths to keep your maths skills going. So here are some ideas. If there are any topics you've recently done that you're not so sure about, 
you can use the My Maths lessons to get extra help. If you've been using My Maths for your regular homework, you can use My Results to see the, your list of topics and results and pick out something you want to improve. If you don't have a list of results of work to work from, you can search in the box to find a particular topic. Work through the lesson, then check your understanding with the homework. Another idea is to work on your times tables. They're useful in many different areas of maths and everyday life. So if you're not confident, it's something extra to practice. Go to revision and assessment and find the times table booster pack. You'll need to select classic my maths from the select curriculum option. And then scroll down and you'll see the times table booster. You can practice each times table on its own separate worksheet or mix them up if you're feeling more confident. If you're in your year 10 or above, there are some more specific things you can work on. If you're working towards GCSEs, choose GCSE 9 to 1 from the curriculum drop down. Then go to revision and assessment and choose the booster pack which best matches your target grade. Then pick a topic. Start with the worksheet if you think you're quite confident with this topic, but you want to check. If you want to revise the topic more thoroughly, work through the revision lesson first. And then go back to the worksheet to check your understanding. If you're working towards A-levels, select A-level from the curriculum drop down. Pick a topic from Pure, Statistics or Mechanics and choose a worksheet for your year group to check your understanding. If there are particular areas you need to brush up on, work through the lesson and check your understanding via the homework. We hope these tips will help you get the most out of MyMaths. Good luck!